please. Right you ho. Thanks. And if you could just hold us right here. Huh? Well, yeah, good. And, uh... Yeah, and over here, too, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Mind your arm. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Uh, Thanks. Uh, oh. Yeah. You know, you got a great smile. Why, thank you. Except for that little caraway seed right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That ought to do it. Well, thank you, Louise. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, we certainly make a ripping, jolly good team, don't we? You took the words right out of my mouth. Except for ripping and jolly. <laughs> you know, Ben, you do terrific work. Oh, thanks. Well, I always say, a job worth doing is worth doing right. <laughs> Screwdriver, please. <laughs> in another one of your harebrained schemes. You haven't even heard my offer. I don't have to. All I have to hear is your voice. <laughs> John, listen to me. Would you please listen? Hundreds of Japanese tourists are coming into the city every day, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they need somebody to show them the sights. Hmm. Who are they going to call? Kirkamoto Tours? <laughs> oh, come on, come on, John. You would make a great tour guide. Yeah, yeah, forget it. You're just going to have to show all these people around town yourself. Me? John, I'm the president of the company. <laughs> that is like asking Fanny Farmer to dip her own bonbons. <laughs> there they go! I've got great news! Wait till everyone hears! Come on in! You guys, wait till you hear this. What? Now, take what? off your coat. Hurry yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's this all about? Oh, what is it? Huh? Okay. Just, 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 all right. Just Y'all know how unhappy I've been in my job lately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was supposed to be hired as an assistant to learn the business, but my boss just treats me like an ornament. Smile at the clients, answer the telephone, make coffee. I've got lots of ideas, but every time I try to tell him one, he just pats me on the head and says, there, there, aren't you cute? I know that feeling. <laughs> anyway, I marched right into his office, and I told him I quit. Oh, you. Oh, so what are you going to do now? I don't know, but I can guarantee I'll go someplace I'm appreciated. Well, I know a lot of people here at the center. I could ask around. Oh, yeah, I could get you a meeting with the personnel manager where I work. Oh, that's very sweet of y'all, but I really want to try this on my own. Hey, Mary Beth, you're always interested in writing. Maybe I can give you some help. <laughs> John, I know you mean well, but I don't want anybody's help. Yeah, come on. Would you guys cut the chick some slack here? <laughs> Mary Beth, I think it's becoming increasingly clear that I, more than anyone else in this room, understand what you're going through. And that is why you have to do what God put you on this green earth to do. Be a guide for Kirkamoto Tours. What? What? All she has to do is point out the Empire State Building and wear a kimono. <laughs> If the kimono's tight enough, she won't even have to point. <laughs> you, see? you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody ever takes me seriously. That's the way I've been treated my whole life. To my daddy, I was his sunshine girl. And to my ex-husband, I was his little honey babe. Well, this time, I'm going to...
going to show everybody I've got what it takes. Brains, talent, and enough great outfits to wear on job interviews for the rest of my life. <laughs> Listen, I want to ask you something. I'm putting together some background information, you know, for Kirkamoto Tours. Mm. I want to show proper respect for their Japanese culture, you know. Yeah. And I read somewhere that they consider it extremely rude to say no. Well, um, actually, uh, that's true. Fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. Now, this no thing, does that also hold true for Japanese women? <laughs> well... They might not actually say no, but they uh, certainly can get across to you that they mean no. I mean, the thing about Japanese culture... Yeah, 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 they... like I care. <laughs> that is wonderful. Oh, what is wonderful? I am. Mary Beth just got a new job. Yes. Mary Beth! Congratulations! <laughs> oh. In only a week. Oh. That's terrific. I'm very happy for you. Oh, I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. I'm a real writer. Oh. Writer? How about that? <laughs> I'm writing for a soap opera. A soap opera? Yeah, it's called The Divided Heart. Do y'all know it? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. I've seen that show. Sorry, dear, but I've never understood the fascination with all that mindless drivel. Oh, but this one's sensational. You see, the main character is Brett Davenport. He's this handsome doctor. And he's married to a beautiful lawyer, Victoria. Wait a minute, I thought he was married to Ashley. Oh, please, he left that slut months ago. <laughs> Louise, your babysitter's on the phone. She sounds panicky. Oh, dear. I hope Nigel hasn't smacked her with the cat again. <laughs> so, 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 Mary Beth. Fill us in. Fill us in on everything. What's it like working on a soap? Oh, it's been great. I've already started on my first script. Mm -hmm. I'd read y'all some of it, but I know that's not the sort of thing we come to the one-to-one -one club for. Oh, Mary Beth. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is a scene I just finished between Samantha, a beautiful, intelligent redhead. A lot like you, Kate. Oh. And Tyler, a rugged, good-looking hunk. A lot like... Well, use your imagination. Okay. Samantha enters, sees Tyler. Their eyes lock. Samantha says, Oh, Tyler, I want you. I need you. I have a brain tumor. See, they love when you throw in a tumor every now and then. Then Samantha says, I cannot go on denying my feelings for you. Every time I see you, I want to touch you. Come to me tonight. I won't tell a soul. Mrs. Philbert, do you mind? <laughs> You're breathing a little heavy on my mohair. My kitchen sink sprung a leak, and I'm never going to find a bloody plumber on a Friday night. Oh. Hey, how about Ben? I bet you he could fix it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He fixed that sink last it's, month. Yeah. Splendid idea. I've got to get home and get the water turned off. I'll write down my address. Here, here you go. Oh, thanks. And would you give it to Ben when you see him? Sure, sure. I'm sorry to leave you all. Don't like worry, Louise. Me. Don't worry. Uh, I'll make sure the, the meeting continues. Thank you, John. You're in charge. You can count on me, Louise. You can count on me, Louise? <laughs> what a suck up. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Very funny. Very funny. I am so excited about this job. Perhaps you'd like to share your feelings. I just did. <laughs> Mary Beth, how did you manage to get this job so quickly? Uh, that's what I was going to ask. Well, I just sent some riding samples into the producer. Next thing I know, he called, said he loved them, asked when I could start. I said, immediately. He said, welcome aboard, and by the way, say hello to your father for me. 
Oh, they know each other, huh? Your father works in television? Oh, no, no, no. Far from it. Daddy runs the Sunshine Baby Food Company. Sunshine Baby Food? Aren't they one of the sponsors of the Divided Heart? <laughs> Only for the past 22 years. Uh, Mary Beth, are you saying that your father is the president of the company that sponsors the show that just hired you? <laughs> Don't be silly. He's the chairman of the board. <laughs> Uncle Dave is the president. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. I got this job on my own. My daddy had nothing to do with it. Did he? Oh, my God. I feel like such a fool. I... Here I am thinking, for the first time in my life, I got a job because of my talent. But of course not. As usual, Daddy took care of everything. What am I going to learn? Sorry, thought you guys were done in here. Oh, uh, uh, Ben, um, listen, Louise wants you to go over to her apartment. She does? Oh, yeah, she was hoping that you could um, take a look at a leaky faucet. Uh, here, she left you this. Okay, uh, thanks. I cannot go on denying my feelings for you. <laughs> Every time I see you, I want to touch you. Come to me tonight. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> I totally crashed. I'm booking. Booking? Oh, you mean you're going home? Yeah. Catch you on the bounce back. Oh, that's probably Ben. Would you be a love and let him in on your way out and tell him I'm in here? No prob. And tell him in English. Me. <laughs> in here, Ben. I've got a bit of a problem. Well, I'm sure it's nothing that roses and a little dry white plumber couldn't fix. <laughs> Dear, you did get a message about a leaky pipe, didn't you? Sure. I always like to bring flowers and wine when I come to fix a leak. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many referrals it gets me. Ben, what is all this? The, well, the group gave me your note. I didn't write this. Oh, God. This must be something Mary Beth was writing for her soap opera. All I wrote was my address. I mean, the hot part wasn't you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, no. I mean, it is my own dumb mistake. Hey, uh, how about I have a look at that leak? I really appreciate this, Ben. Oh, nice tools. I'm impressed. They were an anniversary present. Which is one of the reasons my husband and I broke up. <laughs> oh, 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 are you all right? Yeah, I, I, I just banged my head. I probably deserve it for thinking a woman like you could be attracted to a guy like me. Oh, Ben. I'm terribly, terribly flattered to think that a good-looking young chap like yourself could be attracted to a, let's say, mature person like me. I mean, how old are you anyway? 28, 29? 24. Ouch. <laughs> well, that ought to take care of it. It was just a loose collar. Thank you, Ben. Well, I better get going. Do I owe you? Oh, no, nothing. It was my pleasure. But don't forget your wine and flowers. Oh. Well, if it's okay, I'd just as soon leave them here. Thank you, Ben. That's very sweet.
night. Good night. Is there any way we could forget this ever happened? Oh, of course. I don't know what I was thinking of. Well, you were thinking it alone. Really? Yes, but you and me would be absolutely out of the question. Oh, yeah, totally. How could I ever explain it to my friends? Yeah. Good night. Good night. I mean, no matter how attracted we are to each other, <laughs> There could never be anything between us. You're right. Good night. Good night. You know, all this talking's made me kind of thirsty. I'll get the glass. I'll get the wine. <laughs> Bill, I, I know you've been working on this, on this new flavor for months. Yes, I know. It tastes exactly like real liver. That's why I'm firing you. Morning, Daddy. Thank you, Aunt Nell. There's my little sunshine. Give us a big hug. I didn't come here to hug. I came here to talk. Oh, before we do, sunshine, look what I picked up for you at Cartier. <gasps> you like it? That is so typical. Really? I thought it was rather unique, the way the emeralds play off the diamond. Not the brooch. You. I told you I had something important to talk about, and, and you go out and buy me jewelry and think that'll take care of everything. Oh, now, wait a second, Daddy, young lady. How could you do that? How could you get that job for me? What job? The writing job on the divided heart, as if you don't know. You told them to hire me because you didn't think I could get it on my own. You don't think I can do anything on my own. Oh, I you are so wrong, sunshine. Well, I've always known that someday you were going to make it as a writer. Remember this? What's that? It's a Father's Day card. You wrote it for me. You made it in the fourth grade. Now, go ahead. Read it. You know why my daddy is so special? He put my picture on his baby food. By the way, I asked you to take that down. Will you look at my hair? <laughs> Come on, read, read. And he named his company after me. So when babies eat sunshine baby food, they grow up strong and healthy. Because in every jar is a father's love for his little girl. I am good, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> Even back then. So you had nothing to do with my getting that job? They hired me because they liked my writing? Apparently. Oh, my God! I quit! I got that job all on my own, and now I don't have it anymore. What am I gonna do? Well, what you... Uh... No, don't you dare tell me. I'll figure out something on my own. Daddy, I'm sorry I got so mad at you. Hey, hey, I'm proud of you. I mean, you, you showed me that you can go out and make it on your own without, without any help at all from your old man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you came by. <laughs> to show there's no hard feelings. <laughs> in a good mood. How long has she been like this? About 18 choruses. Oh, you know what this means, don't you? What? John, the woman is singing a completely ridiculous, inane song about a man and a hammer. So? What else? She's getting hammered. <laughs> Okay, Louise. Tell us about this guy you're seeing. A guy? Who said anything about a guy? He died with the hammer in his hand. Oh, no. He died with the hammer in his hand. Uh, 
Darn, I was really looking forward to some good dirt tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, since I'm desperate, how's your love life? <laughs> okay, John. Okay. You laughed at me? You scoffed at me? You ridiculed me? And still he comes back for more. <laughs> You wanted no part of Kirkamoto Tours? You thought it was a big waste of time? Well, you blew it. I just booked eight Japanese fat cats for a tour of the city tomorrow night. <laughs> and listen to this first one. I am pulling on these quote-unquote smart businessmen. You know what those suckers are shelling out for this little trip around town? <laughs> what? Three thousand a piece. <laughs> three thousand dollars? Better. Three thousand yen. <laughs> wow. Wow. In, a, in American dollars, that's almost twenty bucks. <laughs> what? involved in another one of your harebrained schemes. You haven't even heard my offer. I don't have to. All I have to hear is your voice. John, <laughs> listen to me. Would you please listen? Hundreds of Japanese tourists are coming into the city every day, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they need somebody to show them the sights. Mm. Who are they gonna call? Kirkamoto Tours? <laughs> Thank you, Louise. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, we certainly make a ripping, jolly good team, don't we? You took the words right out of my mouth. Except for ripping and jolly. <laughs> you know, Ben, you do terrific work. Oh, thanks. Well, I always say, a job worth doing is worth doing right. <laughs> Screwdriver, please. Please. Righty ho. Thanks. And if you could just hold us right here. Huh? What? Yeah, good. And, uh, yeah, and over here, too, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Mind your arm. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. You know, you got a great smile. Why, thank you. Except for that little caraway seed right there. 